Hello guys, welcome back to What's For Supper. It is lovely to see you guys again. If this is your first time joining us, then where have you been? Where have you been guys? Come on, so today, I wanna to be a bit more bougie, feel a bit more sophisticated with tonight's dinner, but do not worry, it's super simple, it's super delicious, and it looks very impressive. So, without further ado, sit back, recline, let's wine and dine with the top of the line, divine time, a random lime, in an overused rhyme. So, on today's menu we have wine tasting with bright cellars, ratatouille, homemade pesto with chunky bread. So I want to kick things off with a little bit of wine tasting. Look, we all want to pretend to know what we're talking about with wine, right? But we're sat there in the restaurant looking through the list, obviously trying to pick the cheapest one and trying to make sure we don't pronounce it Peanut Noah. Or when I'm in the grocery store, I get so overwhelmed with millions of options. Do I go for something new? Do I do a red, a white, a rose, whatever it is, it takes too long, it's too stressful. But not today, guys, not anymore, because the lovely guys at Bright Sellers are sponsoring this video and they kind sent me some wine for me to try and because I'm such a nice guy I will do that just for them so we have here a lovely package from bright sellers if you don't know already they are a monthly wine club straight to your door they want to help people discover wines they love they send me four bottles and I love the fact that it comes with these little informational cards so you can learn what to pair with what notes ring out what profile the wine is all you need to know to sound like a wine connoisseur so you're basically drinking and learning which sounds fantastic to me and even better the package it's all sustainable, plastic free, which is amazing to see. So first I'm gonna try the California Petite Syrah. I've had a Syrah one or two times before. From what I remember, it's full bodied, it's rich in flavor. It's kind of got a lot of those blackberries, the elderberries, it's got a bit of a spice of vanilla, a bit of black pepper, which really brings a profile together. And look, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I don't, I just memorized what they told me. See guys, you can become a wine connoisseur with these guys. So let's pop it open. Cheers guys. Good health, good wealth and all that. Oh my God, that's so good. Wow. You can really taste the black currant. I can taste the vanilla and even the black pepper. Fantastic. And even if you're not a big wine fan or you're new to wine, great introduction because that is so much flavor and it's very, very easy to drink. So. Let's say hey pepper and move on to the Chardonnay because I want to try a nice crisp white just to kind of balance out, freshen up. This one we've got some nectarine, some peach, some green apple and some lemon. This goes to you guys. Wow, I love this. Hey pepper the Chardonnay has come through. Wow, it's so fresh, it's so clean, the nectarine, do you know what I mean? Loving it. And guys, I'm not just gonna sit here drinking wine, making you feel bad, right? I wanna give something back. So you can get 60% off your first four bottle order using my link below. And all we have to do now is pair this perfectly with a lovely ratatouille. So if you've never seen the movie Ratatouille, let me explain. It's basically when a rat makes a ratatouille. That, that doesn't really make any sense. Okay, so I'm gonna be the rat. Make, making a ratatouille. Doesn't make any sense either. Okay, I'm, it's basically this lovely vegetable dish. It looks beautiful, it tastes delicious, and it's made by a rat. So what you're gonna need, two eggplants, freshly washed as always. And what we wanna do here, chop off the ends. We're gonna give them a good slice. And see, if you watch the movie, the rat was very good at chopping these very fine, but I'm not quite as good as a rat. So now the eggplant is done, we're gonna get two. Zucchinis, exactly as we did with the eggplant. Same again, nice thin slices. Then we're gonna get two yellow squash. And yellow squash is beautiful color. It'll balance it out lovely. And as always, same again guys. We know the rules here, thin slices. So now we need five Roma tomatoes and chop these fine as well. And what I love is this dish, it kind of resembles life. It's all about consistency, taking it one step at a time, about having that balance. You don't wanna rush things. You wanna take your time, be present, and enjoy the slice of life. Right, now the vegetables are sliced. Next up, all we need, red pepper. We're gonna give it a nice chunky slice. And we're gonna throw it in our food processor. Then we're gonna say hello to the yellow pepper. We're gonna chop that exactly the same, guys. Pop it in nice and chunky. Pop the lid on. Perfect, not too fine. Love it, then we'll pop this in a bowl. And then next we're gonna do the same with an onion. Get rid of the skin, try not to cry, and throw it in. Then we're gonna add about five cloves of garlic, pop the lid on, and give it a blend. Perfect. 
set that aside. Then we got our frying pan out. We need a nice glug of olive oil on a medium heat. We're gonna add our onions. And then our pepper mix. And then we wanna cook this for about seven to 10 minutes until it gets nice and golden brown. You know the drill, guys. Right, so now the peppers and onions are looking good. We're gonna add our crushed tomatoes. Get them in there. Look at that. And this is gonna work as a beautiful base underneath all the veggies. We are in for a treat today, guys, I promise you. And I must say, guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am to do this stuff with our child. You know, we're like, what, five weeks away and not only cooking food, but watching movies like Ratatouille and Pixar, Disney, all that kind of stuff. Like, I can't wait to be a kid again. I can't wait to kind of enjoy these processes and see it through someone else's eyes. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be magical. I cannot wait. As the tomato bubbles away, we're gonna to wanna to add some salt. I've got some nice smoked molden salt just to be a little bit more fancy because why not? Plenty of black pepper. Let's get her in there. Pop it in, come on. Then we're gonna add some fresh basil. Give it a little mix, turn the heat down. Perfect, so the sauce is looking good, it's feeling fresh. And then we want to try and match up our veggies. So we've got some tomato, then we've got our yellow squash, then we've got our eggplant and our zucchini. So then we want to line them up as close as we can and then just add them in. You want to take your time with this. The last thing you want to do is get stressed out by this, right? Because, I mean, it's the last thing you want to do in life. Like, my channel, everything I want to do is all about kind of trying to put positive energy out there, trying to make you feel good. Because look, the more I learn about the stats of our human mind, we are stressed 70% of the time, and that's horrible. And you might not think, oh, it's not too bad, that's just most of the time. But what's so dangerous about it? Our body would sense danger. And what that would do, it would put us to fight or flight emergency mode. And it would, you know, you know what it's like, you think you can run fast, but if you're getting chased by a bear or a cheetah, you're gonna run faster than you've ever run before. And the reason why that is, is because to put 100% into that fight or flight emergency mode, we need to shut down our immune system, our nervous system, all these systems that kind of keep our bodies alive, keep us away from diseases and all these kind of things that are really bad for our body. Now, the problem here is that the body does not know the difference between a thought and reality. When you're thinking about a stressful situation, your body is in fight or flight emergency mode. It's running away from this predator. It just doesn't know that predator is your work friend, it's your colleague, it's someone that really angered you that day. And like a good example right now, you know, when you're in bed and you think about a negative thought, your, your heart rate increases. You haven't exercised, you haven't done anything, you sat in bed, yet your heart rate is increasing. And that is proof that your thoughts affect your heart, affects our stress. It's really important to try and do things in our life to reduce stress because unfortunately, the more we learn about it, the more we realize that most diseases come through a form of stress. So. What we can do, that's why, again, I'll always talk about meditation, I'll always talk about trying to do something to feel more uplifted, to feel a bit better about ourselves, to not worry too much, because the more you worry about something that may be happening, it's actually the worry that's doing more damage than the thing itself. So, try and put yourself in a better situation, everything's gonna be better, and even for me, look how lovely this platter looks now. Now it's ready to cook, a bit of salt, a bit of fresh, pepper. So we want to throw this in the oven at 350 degrees. We want to put it in with a little bit of tin foil, aluminum foil as you guys call it. Throw it over the top, give it a close. This just help it cook inside nice and fresh. And then we put this in the oven for about an hour till it gets nice and crispy and then we are good to serve. So now the ratatouille is cooking, I'm gonna make my lovely homemade pesto. Now, everybody loves a bit of pesto and there's only one thing better and that's homemade pesto. So, we're gonna need a food processor. Get a bunch of basil, stick it in there. Nice bit of fresh basil. We want about four cloves of garlic, just throw them in. Plenty of olive oil, get it in there. Then we want about 15 grams of pine nuts. Then I'm gonna give this a little blend. So now I'm just gonna add some pecorino cheese. You want a good amount of this, do not be shy. A Little more olive oil. Get some smoked salt in there. Okie dokie, cheeky bit of smoky. Some pepper. Look at that, let's blend it up again. Let's keep on going. And lastly, you don't need it, but I like to pop a little bit of lemon in it. A little bit of lemon juice, freshens it up. Get a bit of zest. Pop that back on. 
perfect. Look at that. Now all we have to do, serve it up. Well, look at that. Now a lovely pesto is good to serve. Right, perfect. Now last but certainly not least, we've got a lovely bit of chunky garlic bread. We're gonna give it a chop into nice thin slices. Then we just wanna lay them out into a pan, like so. Throw some olive oil over the top. Little salt, little pepper. And then we're just gonna throw that in the oven for like six minutes till it's crusty. We dip it in the ratatouille. Hello there, perfect. Wow, this looks so good. I am so hungry, so excited. Now my ratatouille is good to serve. Wow, this looks absolutely delicious. We have our ratatouille, we have our homemade pesto, we have our chunky bread, and let's not forget our divine wine. Far too much food for one person, as always, but we're gonna dig straight in. We're gonna get some of the bread. We're gonna get some of the zucchini, some of the tomatoes, some of the yellow squash, whatever you need. And then we're gonna throw some homemade pesto over the top. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God, this is so good. This all works so well together. I'm very happy with this one. And one thing I want you guys to take away today, and it is my cheeky challenge, and it is to kind of try and reduce stress. I know it's so much easier said than done, but what's so important is to realize it's never the situation, but our thoughts about the situation. So say you're going for a job interview, you're nervous about it. That week before, what's going on in your mind is always so much more damaging than the actual job interview. That half an hour that actually matters, you spend hours that week, hours and hours worrying about that stuff. So that's when it's the situation. So try and catch yourself, try and reduce that stress because it will make you healthier and make you happier. Your life will be better. And you know guys, we can make delicious food like this. So all you need to do, get out there, set that intention, try and be aware, be kind to yourself, be kind to others and for now, Thank you for watching. Thank you, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring this video. For now, we'll see you guys in the next one. I've been Ben, and you've been great. See you later. Bye.